Hi guys, welcome back. I have another card to show you as part of the Stamp Timber Kitchen Sink Stamps collaboration. You can only pick up this stamp set at Simon Says Stamp. You get the high quality photopolymer stamps from um, that you're known for getting from Kitchen Sink Stamps. They are made here in the United States. You get this leaf cluster, which layers up um, the bat, the cat, this is the vines for the pumpkin. You get the pumpkin itself, which is a large layered pumpkin. And then you get some cool sentiments. You have happy Thanksgiving, Halloween, fall, and blessings. You also have the jack-o'-lantern face if you want to add that to your pumpkin and the stems. Okay, just to show you some cards I've already put together. I used some other pumpkins from the other kitchen sink stamps. Let me show those. Now these stamps you can pick up from kitchen sink stamps. This is the um, multi-step pumpkins that I used. And you can see the size comparison. This is the new pumpkin in the stamp timber set. These are the other smaller pumpkins which come in the kitchen sink stamps. Here is the new cat and the bats in part of the stamp timber. And the happy Halloween is part of the stamp timber set. This moon comes from the multi-step owl and autumn moon which is another fun autumn fall set from kitchen sink stamps and i also created this card and this was a lot of fun i cut my own svg stencil you can cut this um, on your scan and cut or your silhouette i cut it out of heavy yupo paper but you can download this from kitchen sink stamps and i made this stone wall with that and then I used the new Old World Door stamp set and die cut the door and stamp the door out. And you can see here, I added the two large pumpkins from the stamp timber set. I added the vines here, the bats, and then I just cut the little leaves apart and put them over the doorway there. But doesn't it look 3D like that cat is sitting in front of a real door? The Halloween is heat embossed in some um, orange mixture embossing powder and then we have some mirror card behind there okay so i was thinking what about a fall card not necessarily a halloween card i guess it'll kind of be halloween but i've already stamped out some pumpkins and die cut them with my scan and cut i have some fall elements here that we might bring into this so let's get started I have a piece of Nina Solar White, and this is cut down to five by three and three quarters. And I want to use the fun leaf custer, but before I do that, let me do some ink blending. I'm going to bring in some Tiki Torch and some Sauna. These are both uh, Catherine Puller ink colors. And I'm going to start with the Sauna, which is like a golden yellow. And just going to just kind of do a really light inking around the edges here. Just to give it that autumn feel. So we have fun golden hue there. And I'm going to add a little bit of Tiki Torch to that. All right, so we have some ink blending done there. And then I wanna take these little layered leaf clusters and kind of stamp those out along the border. We actually are gonna use some similar stamp colors here. So we're gonna start with the sauna. That looks pretty just like that. So that's the first layer of the 
wispy fall leaves. We're gonna go in with the second layer. And for that layer, we're going to use some, let's see, orange twist. And these are very easy to line up. Okay, and then for the last layer, I'm gonna add some red to that. So we're gonna use some rockin' red. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very fall looking. Very autumnal. Okay, so we have our background, our colored, our leaves added. Okay, and then I have these pumpkins and I wanna tell you guys a little story as I think about how I wanna rearrange these pumpkins. And these are all the large pumpkin. I've stamped these out in another video. You can go and check that out. Um, but I have in here a teal pumpkin and I don't know if you're no if you know this or not but I found out that um, teal pumpkins if you put those out on your front porch during trick-or-treat that signifies to children that have food allergies that your house is a food allergy safe area so they can um, they can get that looks really pretty they can get like nut free candies at your house that, that you know there's no allergies there so I thought that was pretty neat so I stamped out a teal one there I like the way that looks I will um probably trim off that white pumpkin but um these two came out of the set and then this one is out of the kitchen sink stamps pumpkin set but look how nice they go together and let me glue those down and I just used my scan and cut to cut that out so I stamped them all, and then um, I know not everybody has a scanning cut, but they're very easy to cut. I mean, it's just a pumpkin shape. It's not that hard to do. And I didn't necessarily want to make this, you know, a Halloween theme, even though that teal pumpkin represents Halloween candy, trick-or-treating. Um, I just wanted to stamp this out in different colors. So we have our white pumpkin, our teal pumpkin, and our orange pumpkin. And I'm not gonna put the jack-o'-lantern jack faces on these. Um, and then I'm putting some foam tape on here, but before I put the foam tape on there and then cut that off, I do wanna stamp my sentiment. And I think I wanna do um, fall blessings. And I am going to bring in my Misty just so I line it up straight because the last card I did, I didn't do that and it didn't line up correctly. I have a little piece of sticky grid on my mini Misty there that holds everything in place.
All right, and I'm just gonna line that up on the lid to make sure that it is straight. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I think I want to gold heat emboss this. So let me get my heat embossing stuff. I'm going to use my anti-static tool and I'm going to stamp that out in Versamark clear ink. Use a little brush to brush off some of that extra. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to bring my heat tool into this. Give that a second to heat up. Just a second to cool down. Okay, I'm gonna just trim off the bottom of that pumpkin. And then attach it to our card base. Which I've already have a black card here with some orange um, glossy card there, mirror card. Put some adhesive down on this. Now this glue dries pretty quickly. There is a little warping because of the heat embossing, but I think I have enough adhesive on there to hold that in place. Let me just put a heavy stamp block on there, flatten that out a little bit. And I'm 
and a piece of cardstock to put inside and then we can stamp something glue something to the inside so I'm going to cut that down to five by three and three quarters Perfect. have these other pumpkins extras that I had stamped and cut out. We'll just put those in there. And then I could stamp Happy Halloween or, you know, whatever needs to be put on the inside there. There we go. So there we have a beautiful fall card using the new pumpkins. Um, this is the Simon Says Stamp, Kitchen Sink Stamp, Stamp Timber collaboration. And again, some of the other cards that I have made with this stamp set. Here is the Halloween one using the cat and the large pumpkin as well as the sentiment. And then this one is using the old world door. So a lot of fun with this stamp set. I hope you head on over to Simon Says Stamp. It is a limited edition stamp set. So once it sells out, it is sold out. You will not be able to order it. The only place you can get it is at Simon Says Stamp. So go check it out. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.